Hi guys, um, so in this video, um, I'm going to show you how to change your default SSH port for the, for our section in regards to an, an additional basic server protection for your, um, server. And I just also want to add up that this is not only for, I mean, this is valuable not only for cPanel servers, because um, for cPanel we already have, we already discuss the a few security um, systems that we have applied. But also, if you want to really secure your server, not only um, for cPanel, even you're not using cPanel, this also applies to you. This is um, basic server protection, um, protecting your SSH service. So, um, these are one, two, three, four. So, these are four. Um, different, different, um, what do you call this? Different sections that I have divided for the section basic protection. So, first thing for, um, in this video, we will walk, we will go through the changing of the default SSH port, which is the, the, the port 22. And then the next video, we will create um, a sudo user, which we will use to to log in for via via your server via SSH, and then disable the SSH root login. So instead of using your root, we will be using your um. A different username okay and then from that username we will just log in as root if necessary but it's not really necessary for the basic um, functions we will be managing our server though so yeah that's it and then we will also I will also show you how you can disable the root password login for your WHM to really make sure to secure it in case a hacker discovers what your password is. So the nice thing about that is that they won't be able to log in via the WHM um, link and also if they discovered your root password as well they will not also be able to log in via your SSH root login. And maybe I, I, I'm also gonna, um, we will also add up how to log in via SSH key. So how to log in via SSH keys. Or what do they call that one? Maybe passwordless, passwordless login, or passwordless login. Yeah, something like that. So, so this is something that I do on my end. So as you can see here. Um, if you check on my the server host name here, um, instead of as you can see here, I'm not sure if you can if you can see this. Maybe I'll just um, zoom it out when I edit this video later on. So this is CentOS, right? I am using this server, this demo server from AWS because it's free for me. Okay, so. Um, this is sent OS. So this is the sudo user 
for my um, instead of me logging in as root and then for this sudo user which can which enables me to log in via SSH instead of root I don't use um, a password for this username I use uh, this SSH keys the public key as you can see here um, so this is um, passwordless um, method of logging in which is very convenient and another thing um, with this method or this system is that instead of us using um, the credentials of our root user and our password to login WHM we will be using the same if you're following along with me I always just use to login the link that I that I'm doing instead of instead of going to the WHM link um, I know you're familiar with that so the nice thing about that is what we will what the method that we will be using further on is this login so as you can see here just um, you just need to add WHM login command to your to your SSH um, client and then just paste it on the link based on the link which will expire in in a few minutes later so as you can see I don't really need password for this one it, it automatically um, log in log me in into my WHM so that's um, the nice thing about that and and yeah of course it's very secure because we don't really need to add um, the password is disabled so in case just in case a hacker discovers your password they will not be able to log in and they will also not um, and aside from they will not be able to log in as root they will also not be able to log in because they don't know the port that we have changed from the default one so make sure you keep it secret and also make sure as well to keep your use your new you will user or your new sudo user a secret as well so yeah that's the that's the nice thing about um, this additional basic server protection and as mentioned earlier um, this is not just for um, uh, some of these are are can be applied to any other um, web hosting control panel not only for cPanel so yeah um, so for this video let's go ahead and start with uh, change changing the default SSH port which is what we will do right now so of course we want to log in into our WHM I'm gonna log in using the terminal here instead of my um, SSH client so let's go here and then um, let me log in first via sudo so this is what we this is what will happen um, with with the system or with the idea that I'm that I will be sharing with you further in this series guys you will be logging in via a different user which is in my case I am logging in as the CentOS user and to log in as root I will need to run this command here to log in as root so that I can um, manage um, sensitive data and commands 
as root because you can't use you can't really manage it as a sudo user alone but we can still log in as root after we have logged in as um, the different user or the sudo user so to change the port we wanna run this command here this is a nano which is a, a text editor in SSH um, service and then this is the location so just hit enter don't worry about the commands I will put it in the links below or in the link below and then you will be redirected to the to the file inside and then just go to the port 22 line and remove the number sign before the phrase and then just, just probably um, change the port number to four digits it's up to you just just make sure to make it up um, probably between here or between the five digits so maybe instead of 22 make it make it probably 49999 up to 5000 and then um, you can also surely um, use any different number but um, make sure if you're using a firewall firewall make sure to add this um, this new port number into the TCP in and the TCP out so for example this is you have already changed this right and to, to save this um, changes let's go ahead and hit control X and then here as you can see hit Y to to answer yes and then hit enter within your keyboard so the file is already saved okay but it but the changes was not yet um, applied to the server to make it sh to make it apply or make the changes applies to the server configuration we want to um, restart the open SSH service and to do that we we run this command which is server space sshd space restart okay and apart from this this is the way we do the we do it via ssh but there's also a way in whm which is here um just search ssh or maybe restart so we can restart it let me check here so here at the bottom ssh server open ssh so this is as you can see here it's um restart services is open it and when you when you go to the bottom of, of the list it's here open ssh so it will restart and that's how you can um restart it um, depending on what you want to use so that's it so just hit enter if you if you try or if you want to use the SSH um, service or just hit this link here and then just hit yes it will restart it via the WHM account that you have so yeah that's it so the changes should already been um, applied to the server 
So let's try to um, let's try to see if it's already been applied here. Command line. Oops. login back as root and then let's go to the nano so remember the remember the port that we have used which is 4999 so um, when we go to an, another let's try to use another um, SSH command here I mean SSH client which is my favorite one that is what I'm using Bitvice SSH client so here is um, the port that I've used last time but the default one should be 22 for you right so if you want to if you want to log in let's say this is the default one before we have changed it right so if you log in via the default one check it out it is terminated because you can't log in via the default port because it's already been changed so let's try the new one which is the 49999 and save the profile and log in back so as you can see we are able to log in right as you can see here we're able to log in as root let's go to the port so as you can see 4999 so that's how you can change um, your SSH default port and another thing I want to I want to share with you is in case you have um, a firewall installed make sure that you have added your port your new port within the um, within your TCP in and TCP out so for example just add it maybe um, if you already have the numbers here uh, if you already have um, numbers that are showing here just disregard it and just add a, a comma and add this one here and also here as well 4999 okay so that's how you can do it and Aside from that, um, if you're, let me see here. So, yeah, that's it. And make sure this is, by the way, um, the f the firewall that I'm using is the config server security. If you have um, other other firewall services make sure to contact support if you're not familiar with that but if you're following along with this series um, I assume you already know how to install and manage the config server security and it should already been set up for you based on the based on the what do you call this based on the profile that I've that I've shared with you to it, to be imported as backup so you don't really need to add this um, configuration but in case you are not able to log in just add them here within the TCP in and TCP out just in case you're not able to log in but based on the profile that I've showed you last time or I have shared with you and you have imported it as backup or if you have if you're following along with the series um, which is here this is the 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 episode where you can set up I mean where I have showed you how to set up your firewall 
with CSF or config server firewall then you don't really need to um, add the port here um, but in but as mentioned if you you can't log in after changing the port make sure to log in to your make sure you are able to log in um, f within your WHM and then um, just add the new port within the TCP in and TCP out and in case you're, you still have issues um, alongside or apart from this um, troubleshooting that I'm that I that I'm showing you make sure to comment down below or um, contact me via the support forums which is at community.mawix.com and send over any error screenshots that you are that you encountered so that I can help you out right away so um, once again thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time take care